Michael Steele says it was a tough one to make. However, a lot of people may be surprised that it was not based on policy. But this ballot is how we restore the soul of our nation, electing a good man, Joe Biden, and a trailblazer, Kamala Harris, and ensure an orderly transfer of power, or plunge our country into chaos. America or Trump? I choose America. Former Maryland Lieutenant Governor and Republican National Committee Chairman making his endorsement of Joe Biden official. In an exclusive interview with WBAL-TV Tuesday, Michael Steele says the president's character fueled his decision. One of the things that I, I really came to, David, was this is not just about the policy. I and mean, the character piece was probably the most important linchpin for me beyond anything else. Steele says when unrest broke out, the president dismissed the concerns of an entire community. Steele cites the president being disrespectful to the men and women in the military. And he doesn't like it when the president speaks badly about Baltimore. Our president is an extension of who we are, our values, our ideas, our hopes, our dreams, our ups, our downs. He, he or she embodies that. That's why we put so much weight on the individual who sits behind that resolute desk. That's why it matters so much. Um, when did that stop mattering? Because you got a tax cut? Steele says before his endorsement, he advised Biden that he expects to bring conservative policy ideas to the table for discussion, and the vice president was open to that. But I won't be having a discussion about a tweet. I won't be having a discussion about, you know, the president, you know, making fun of a woman. I won't be having a discussion about the president dissing Baltimore. Michael Steele says he alone doesn't expect to have meetings with Biden. He and along with a group of like-minded Republicans hope to have policy discussions with him. Reporting live from Hamden, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.